Hey guys, we're back with some more messages here. That was pretty quick. Somebody, somebody left the scene of an accident. Somebody's being charged with fleeing. But I think that they also had uh, other charges because I'm picking up that somebody, it could be two people, actually got seven years for fleeing the scene of an accident. Archangel Michael, please. Shit, they probably couldn't even talk. They're probably drunk. This is a natural pineapple juice, right? I got this pineapple juice. It was like $7 for this bottle. And it's very concentrated, but it's all natural. And it's very strong, so I had to mix it with purified water and stuff. But uh, my boyfriend's like, $7? I'm like, ain't this a bitch? That whole complaint, I said so, because I'm always speaking truth, even when it agitates people, even about myself. So we went shopping for food the other day, and I grabbed uh, vitamins, and it was like $40 for vitamins. And he's looking at me, and I said, isn't it crazy that we used to buy meth and not give a shit how much we were spending? One eleven. I said, but when we come, when it comes to something we put in our bodies that's healthy and shit, uh, we want to bitch and complain? And he couldn't say nothing. What can you say about that? It's the truth, right? That's why I laugh at myself. I don't, I don't feel shame and guilt for it. it. It's funny to me now. It's like, damn, I didn't really think twice about putting money out to put something in my body that contained battery acid and gasoline. <laughs> oh, shit. People don't like us truth spitters at all. Uh, oh, well. Did I ask for protection already? Talking to Michael, just in case I did it, right? <laughs> Protect me, please, and those listening. Who, uh deserve have warranted protection okay okay somebody uh is being charged i feel like they're in jail there's a lot of people getting locked up right now i'm picking up that a lot of people who maybe were warned that the shit they were doing it was going to come back and bite them and i feel like some of them were like nah, 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 i know this one and i know that one and i got a good lawyer and some of them were banging their lawyer and whatever no, I feel like drunk driving because I couldn't even talk. I went to <laughs> I went to ask for protection. I'm stuttering, like stuttering Stanley, stuttering Stanley. Somebody could have a list. Or a speech of impediment. Uh, oh, look at you. Would you stay out of trouble, dude? <laughs> I mean, come on, man. You making these uh, high five and water sign masculine energies look bad, dude. It's a Pisces Scorpio. I'm like, I feel, uh, I feel like this dude is, is doing all kinds of dirty shit because he just wants to show up in readings. He's just got to be seen. His energy's got to be seen. You want, you want your 15 minutes, your 40, 50 minutes of fame, bro? All right, fine. If you got to, if you got to get into a car accident and try to run to do it, cool, hop in. All right, what's up? What's up? Tell me about this King of Cups. It could have been in the car with an Aquarius. person's like I, I want to I feel like you're like saying like uh I'll wake up and you dream and this person wants to wake up from this nightmare <laughs> yeah I feel like somebody could have gotten hurt or maybe they have injuries too I feel like this wasn't just a fender bender you guys yo I hope somebody didn't pass away in this accident and that's why they ran oh no some of them want to use you. Sweet dreams. What's with the dreams? I don't know. This person could be having nightmares, or if you want to call it dreams, if in their cell about the accident over and over and over again. Because I feel like somebody that could have been a casualty here. Oh, that's awful. Oh, tell me more. Tell me more about this, please. Uh, they could have been driving with another drinker. Uh, so there's that. There's this. What is it with you, this water? What, what is it with you guys? What is it with this water sign couple? Why can't you guys just stay out of trouble? Four, four, four. Is this part of this energy going back to you guys? You're making high vibing water signs 
look bad. Well, maybe you're not because most of us high-fiving people, we hear our signs in readings because when I first started listening to readings, I would hear shit about Taurus and then like I would get agitated, but then like I had to find out why am I agitated? Why did it trigger me, right? And, and is it even about me? Like it's like we feel like we're the only Taurus or we're the only Cancer or we're the only Libra, right? And it's like it's an instinct and it's something you have to get over. And I don't think that the universe was going to let my channel get out until I, I got to certain levels in my life and in, in this journey where they knew that I was going to be okay with hearing certain things and not taking it personal. But, but this water sign couple, man, you guys are just like... I mean, stay, stay out of trouble. I feel like these people, do these people have children? Do these people have children? If you guys are parents and you're doing this shit, could you? Yes, look at this. Look at, look at the way the cards work for me, you guys. They have kids. That's the second time in the second reading in a row I've had to throw this down because I'm pissed off. 555 five, five it was. Yo, I'm so tapped in. I'm telling you, sometimes it freaks me out, you guys. Yesterday I was talking to my boyfriend and I was like, yeah, I go and I seen 555 five, five today. And then I looked at my phone, it was 555 five, five when I said it. It was just crazy that it happens to me like at least once a day, some crazy shit, but it's all day. You guys know what I'm talking about. Those of you who are super aware, it's like, it's almost like, nah, this can't really be happening, right? Does the this universe really, does the universe really mess with me that way? Yes. Every time you come around, you know I can't say no. That's a problem. One of these people should have been the first one to say, you know what, I can't do this no more. I have kids. I'm not taking care of my kids. I'm neglecting my kids. I haven't seen my kids. How would I feel if my kid was in the car, on the other car, where there's possibly a casualty? You guys are dirty and disgusting. And I feel like you guys are being overran by something. But you can't use that as an excuse. Yeah, maybe in booking. <laughs> oh, you guys, tell me some more. Yeah, look at <clears throat> this is that dark energy going back, you guys. This may have happened on that uh that full moon. The full moon was in Cancer, wasn't it? The wolf moon in Cancer. I mean, <clears throat> right? <sighs> it's just like. Yeah, I feel like they, they, they wanted this kind of stuff for uh, you, divine being. Get out of here. Yeah, I feel like they're thinking about it. They're being forced to. This looks like jail to me. This don't even look like a mental prison. This, this reminds me of like prison. Somebody gonna be somebody's bitch. Talk to me about this. There's definitely a Pisces or a Cancer that's all up in their head because I feel like they keep replaying this over and over and over. Yeah, the past. I feel like they keep thinking about what happened, either their whole past or shit in the past or what happened with you in the past and how they couldn't change things. But it comes down to the point where you got to be in an accident where, where you're trying to run and there's a casualty. And, and why, why does it have to always get to this point with you guys? And it's like with me, I understand it to a, uh, to a point though. I was making bad decisions in my life, but they weren't affect, they weren't taking people's lives and making people sick. I promise you this. Not in this lifetime anyway, <laughs> but what makes, this has to be, this has to be the product of dark magic backfiring. I just don't understand how somebody could just constantly get, I don't know if this is the same two people, you guys. Okay. That's what I'm trying to say, I guess. I don't know if this is the same two people that is having everything else happen to them. All right, let's get some of these, right? We're not stopping now. We're only at nine minutes. What else? What's, what's going on here? What's going on here? I feel like these people could have had, look, cancer. Cancer, new moon, cancer. I feel like this happened at night. If they did a ritual like you dingbats keep doing and we keep telling you guys, like, I mean, would you even have your, 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 uh, your supposed enemies? Cause we didn't make enemies out of you guys. But if that's what you wanted, I mean, you know, choose your own demise. But I feel like you even have your enemies telling you to watch out. We're giving you tips. What more do you want? Yeah. Yeah. Karmic father. There's that karmic father with the cancer thing again. 
why why is this here does somebody's father have cancer you guys i don't know oh light hair I don't know, somebody with a uh, cancer, maybe one of your karmic fathers that uh, that may be a cancer uh, that has light hair. I don't know why this would be coming out, but um, I don't know if your father's still here. She's just a girl and she's on fire. Warrior. Strength, skill, discipline, toughness, heroism, stoicism, self-sacrifice. You hear that, guys? Self-sacrifice. You guys don't try to sacrifice us. We do it ourselves. Who are you to say whether or not you sacrifice us? That just sounds ridiculous. This girl is on fire. This girl is on fire. Yes. Divine Feminine. <sighs> Divine Feminine. I, I got chills all over. <sighs> Divine Feminine. You may have called this Warrior High Priestess. She's just a girl and she's on fire. Look at you. Look at you, warrior high priestess. You're a badass bitch, but you're so beautiful and so graceful and so smart and so loving and so nurturing and so intuitive and so innovative. And mm. I'm it You're on fire, divine feminine. And even for my masculines who are in this feminine energy because it's healthy to be in both. You're on fire. Yes. Somebody's on fire. Somebody literally could be on fire, though. I mean, I don't know. This could be a... If you had a karmic father who passed on and they were a cancer, maybe this is your father saying this. I'm proud of you. Uh, somebody doesn't like it, though. Look. Somebody's realizing that you actually are a high priestess. And that you can use the name and use the title and say this and even get a little hat that says High Priestess on it. But it shows in your energy. People will smell it. They'll feel it. They'll sense it. And that's just that. Okay? Uh, somebody uh, is very jealous of the fact that they didn't want to believe that you were this High Priestess. It's undeniable. Look at you go. I'm so proud to even have uh, energy exchange with you guys, okay? Yeah, this is, you're very skilled. Whatever this is that you're doing, people are seeing some kind of gift in you or there's some kind of spark or some kind of dormant gift uh, or just quality that has been laying dormant in you. I feel like that you're starting to feel. This could just be your intuition being more a point. You feeling like you're more tapped in, being able to interpret your dreams. Um, it could be so many different things. I love it. I do. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. This squirrel is on fire. Who hacked your phone now? They want to be all up in your shit. <laughs> It's like, bitch, we're an open book. You don't have to hack anything. Tell me, what, what email you want to know, right? If you need to know so much about me, right, what, what do you, you want to know? They don't know anything about being an open book. They're like a walking diary, okay? The thing with you is you're an open book, divine beings, and narcissists, they're, they're a diary locked with the key thrown out. Somebody's a cheap. I don't even know if this is just like, I'm bad, I'm bad, shut up, shut up. You're just a bad bitch. you a bad dude. Somebody cheated and hacked your phone. So somebody didn't have the balls to come and just say, you know, I need, can you tell me this? Can you tell me that? They had to cheat and hack your phone? Cool, punk. So I feel like that's coming out now too. Or some of you were just finding out that somebody did hack your phone. Go take it to somebody. They'll trace the IP address. Shamal. Shamal. <laughs> Who hacked their phone, please? Maybe they're finding this out in jail. Maybe they hacked other people's phones and they're in jail for hacking too. Damn, yeah, with the seven of swords. I 
feel like somebody lied about hacking your phone. Damn. a Gemini, Virgo, it doesn't matter, but I feel like that's just saying, like, there, there are so many things. Somebody was trying to hack your phone because they were trying to manipulate some shit, uh, uh, maybe find out, maybe they were telling people that you were doing magic. I also feel like with the hacked your phone thing, this could just be somebody who has one of those apps where they, they put messages that came from you, 1515, and they can put your phone number on it and say that you sent shit. It was to manipulate something. I feel like they're in jail for this too, but I feel like that they knew this was coming. Like you knew. Look, she's got a phone in her hand. Look. You know what I mean? You're like, that. I know you hacked my phone. I don't even care because I'm an open book. When you're an open book, you don't care if there's cameras in your house because uh, you know you could drive yourself crazy going down that rabbit hole. Uh, you just, you rely on karma. You know, you rely on the universe to just whoop that ass. You don't care about your phone being hacked because you're like, bitch, I don't, I don't take n nasty pictures of myself. Okay. I'm not a criminal. I'm not looking up how to poison somebody. Okay. <laughs> I'm cool with my Google search history and shit. Okay. Yeah. There's justice. They found out. I feel like the cops found out that this person is, is a professional hacker. I don't know how professional they could be if they're locked up, but whatever. Yeah, you're bad. You're the bad one. Yes. So they know they're in jail and they know that they hacked phones. They hacked your phone. Mm-hmm. What are they holding on to? Holding on to information or they thought that you were holding on to information? I don't know. We're not like you guys. Yeah. I feel like they were trying to find out. Like they just, they couldn't, they didn't want to let you go. They didn't want to let you go. Right? It's like, bitch, just, you know, watch me on social media. If you guys want to be a fan, you know what I mean? Donate. <laughs> Donate. Don't divinate against me. But I feel like somebody just didn't want to cut that a third core with you guys. <sighs> I also feel like somebody was trying to... I, I think what happened here is somebody was trying to erase information on a laptop. But I feel like the feds, the government already got it and they were holding on to this already. I feel like they were just holding on to as much information as they needed. But I think that this accident that happened uh, was something that wasn't planned. Yeah, it was just 1717. Somebody was trying to hold back information. Uh, very important information I just heard. So for those of you who already know what it is. I'm mad. Fuck out of here. Yeah, you want to hack my phone? You think you're going to find some dirt on me? Fuck out of here. <laughs> Stop saying yes to shit you hate, you guys. Who's doing this still? I feel like we all do this though, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, this could just be the world. Or maybe you guys closed out a cycle. Maybe you guys, maybe the shit that you guys stopped saying yes to was giving karmic uh, males and females uh, any of your time whatsoever. You stopped communicating with them. I hope that's what this is. I hope that's what this is. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you, spirit guide. So I feel like you guys did. You cut off your energy, even though it's really difficult, especially when it's somebody. Because when you do that, that's when justice can start. I feel like a lot of you are realizing this. Like, you know, I was the protection that they needed to keep karma from actually hitting the way it should. You are the protective energy there, divine beings. Not them. They, they can't protect you. You are always a protection and a blessing and a healing energy for everybody. Yeah, because you're divinely guided. Mm -hmm. some of you need to stop uh, saying yes to having sex with someone you're in a relationship with if you don't want to have sex with them anymore though some of you need to uh, close out a cycle and start your new journey with somebody else yeah I don't know if you could be an Aquarius that message is for you I think there's a message for an Aquarius that they need to close out a cycle with somebody. Maybe somebody needs to stop having sex with somebody because with the star card, they could be sick. So this could actually be to a, I don't know, this could be anybody. All right. Divine beings make mistakes too, you guys. So um, we're not perfect. So I feel like there's somebody here that is sick with an STD and somebody needs to stop having sex with them. All right. Who is this? Who's the one sick? Who's the one that's sick, please? Who's 
someone that's sick. Could be a Virgo. If this person's staying to themselves, or maybe you need to be by yourself for a little while and heal with a hermit, and uh, or you did, some of you did stop having sex with somebody because you weren't sure. Yeah, this person's under judgment. I feel like this person was also uh, having sex with a lot of people while they knew uh, that they were tainted, okay? Tainted. Hmm. Tainted is an understatement I just heard. Yeah, I feel like like you don't want to be disappointed in yourself. So I feel like you should stop this, right? Because this person with the page of cups is like crazy. And I feel like they just want to get someone sick. This is the kind of person that knows that they're sick and is a, a woman hater. And they will purposely, or even a female that's a man hater. And they will purposely get people sick because they're sick. And they figure, well, if I'm going to die anyway, I might as well take people with me. There's a special place for you people too. Thank God there's a place for everybody in this world, huh? Let's get a demon card and see if we can get a demon card that uh, we haven't gotten before. I think some, some people need to put up uh, restrictions, okay? Some of you need to be more bold with your Azazel again. Some of you need to be more bold with your restrictions, okay? Yukabak. Okay, well... Okay, well, that's, <laughs> I don't know what to say with that one, all right? <clears throat> all right. <clears throat> all right, so this person that's spreading the STDs or look, is looking for somebody else to blame with themselves. I feel like regardless of who gave it to them, it's like if you kept slept, sleeping with a lot of people and you weren't protected, bitch, you have to point the finger at your damn self. You can't just point the finger at everybody else. There's two people. It has to happen unless somebody just uh, injected you with it, which that usually doesn't happen. Beware of taking workers for granted. Okay, so this could be somebody who you worked for, too. Obviously, there's a boss of yours or somebody you used to work for that didn't appreciate, you know, uh, how hard that you worked or how loyal that you were. All right. Oh, yeah, look, this just slid at the bottom. This is somebody you work for. This is somebody. Okay, let's find out who this is. Who's this boss here? I feel like you turned your back. You turned your back on a job, and, and I feel like it was because or you need to. If you don't feel like you're being appreciated, uh, we don't stay in that shit no more. We'll take an L, and, and we'll, we'll stop buying shit and live a different lifestyle just to be happy. Who's not appreciating the workers here? I feel like... Somebody may want to apologize or ask you to come back to work because they didn't appreciate you. It could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or that's just your boss. But somebody may be asking you to come back to work because they're realizing now there ain't nobody like you. Okay? There ain't nobody. Yeah, you put an end to this job. Well, I don't know how long ago it was, but there ain't, nobody works like empaths. Okay? Because not only do we have strong work ethic, but we just have this care and respect for the for the person. It's almost like to a fault. We care more sometimes about the business than the owners of the business do. And that's some bullshit, okay? Yeah, you put an end to this. I just saw the death card. Like, I feel like you just quit suddenly. Yeah, for some of you, you just quit suddenly. Some of you are working from home now, and you're like, I don't even need this job. I got something better lined up and you know the universe is going to back you up because what you're doing you have a lot of passion for and you believe in yourself so I feel like uh you know that's up to you if you want to go back to this job but if you feel like this person or this job didn't appreciate you to begin with uh I, I would know your worth know thyself you get it uh what else could be a Sagittarius for some of you or you're a Sagittarius and somebody wants to ask you to come back. It's like, I'm not pulling these out again with this light in court. I'm not doing that again. I'm just tired of seeing it. Speak up. What do you need to speak up about? I don't know. Am, can you guys not hear me? Am I? Because I don't want to talk so loud because people are sleeping. Uh, okay. Speak up about what? That's too many, you guys. Speak up about what? Some of you are being asked to speak up. This has been coming out a lot. Like, some of you need to start telling your story. Loves you. 
karmic father is obsessive. This could be the father of your phone, hacked your phone, or father, or I said father of your phone, hacked your phone, karmic father, obsessive, and loves you. I mean, this is just, I don't know. Some of you need to speak up about your phone being hacked. Maybe these people didn't get exposed for this, but that you need to expose them. If you if you feel like your phone's acting up or your battery's dying quicker than it normally would, or apps just close on their own, watch a video on YouTube and find out how your phone acts up. For some of you, you can just do a factory reset if your phone, if there's not really a lot of important information on your phone that you don't really care about. See, I'm like that. I'm like, I don't really give a shit. You know, even if I lose shit or information, it's like it's never detrimental to me. 25, 25. So this could just be the karmic father of of your children. Or maybe your karmic father actually loves you, you guys. Just because he's a karmic, you know, you learn lessons from him. It doesn't make them bad, you know? So maybe you're... you're let me pull on that, though. But somebody... Uh, I feel like some of you may need to speak up if you know that your phone is hacked. That's, that's just... I don't know. What's up with this karmic father? I just saw the emperor, so... What's up with this karmic father who loves you? Yeah, it's like we hear the word karmic and we always think it's like bad. No, it's just a... We learn lessons, and sometimes those lessons are just like, well, I didn't get a lot of um, emotional support from my father, so I want to show that now to my children. And you thank your father for doing this, okay? But it doesn't mean they're, they're they don't love you. It means that they needed healing too, right? Yeah, I feel like his father is stressed out. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm really picking up. Yeah, because I feel like this you're, you're protecting yourself or you felt the need to, or like you were always defending yourself. Maybe this karmic father of yours is realizing like, yeah, maybe I was a little like um, pushy or, or I never really gave them the attaboys or girls or that our relationship started to suffer because of so-and-so or whatever this is. It could be family. It could be a mother. It could be siblings. It could be all of the above for some of you guys. Look, there's the emperor at the bottom. I do feel like some of your karmic fathers are really like missing you and wanting to, they feel like you're going to be defensive. There's that karma though. Look, and like, it's like you always felt like it always comes out that this is the whole thing is that this karmic father is going through karma because you always felt like you had to be something you weren't, or you had to like, you couldn't even be yourself. Cause it's like, you always felt judged. It's like, I can't even come to you and tell you what I'm going through because you're always going to put your finger like this. It's like, that's how his father was probably. So it's like, don't, don't, um, Don't just cut off all communication if it bothers you and you guys don't want to. That's all I can say. Uh, sometimes you just guys need time apart so that people can see, you know, learn lessons and heal and understand and take accountability. And if only one side is doing it, then you may not see them again. But it's always great if both sides can actually come to an agreement. Like nobody wants to have... Um, separation and disdain for their parents it's just something that has to happen or else if we didn't separate and learn these things we would never be able to heal um be happier and help other people heal it's just like part of a healing process that's going on worldwide now so nobody's um bad or wrong except for some of these fathers that were super super toxic i didn't have one like that you know i had a great father but my mother was a big factor in the wedge drum between us so I don't know. All right. I love you guys. I'm going to cut that short. This is interesting as well. They all get interesting, right? All right. Have a good day today. I'll be back. Bye.